Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP Hands-On Lab. In the last episode, we went ahead and looked up the concept of redistribute. And when we were doing the redistribution, we learned something about these origin ports. And when we went and redistributed our connected route, we noticed that the origin code was really incomplete. And that's what we're going to go ahead and explore in this particular lab. And we're going to go ahead and explore the concept of route map. But before we really deep dive into route map or some of these things, let's understand when we went ahead and redistributed these connected route, the origin code was really was incomplete actually. But that did not pose any kind of problem to the functionality of BGP or anything you know that we were doing so far. But it could really create a problem, you know, when the BGP is trying to decide or make a route selection based on, let's say, you want to go towards a particular destination, where it is trying to make a decision based on one of the BGP attributes. And let's say the BGP attribute in this case we want to make a use is MED, which stands for multi-exit discriminator. So in the case of the BGP, the best path route selection really says, okay, hey, you know, it is good if it is receives two route where you know for one of the route we have an origin code and where we have another one without an incomplete. So in that case, it is going to go ahead and select the first route always, which is with the IGP or the, with the origin code. And you can also go ahead and set these attribute with the help of a route map. So, you know, we'll be making use of the route map to really go ahead and fix this incomplete origin code. And we can also make use of the origin or the route map to go ahead and set some other BGP attribute also, like certain kind of communities. We can go ahead and play around with metrics. We can also go ahead and change the uh, next stop if we desire to do so. So we can go ahead and make use of these route map on these router, in this case, let's say R2, to filter you know any updates and modify some of these attributes. And one of the attributes that we are interested in modifying is our origin code. Because when we entered and redistributed, our origin code was really incomplete. So that's what we're going to go ahead and explore and take a look at the route map. So route map really has a concept of, you know, you match certain things and if there is a match, what do you want to do? So what you want to do is really done with the help of the set command. So with the set command, you can go ahead and, you know, set certain things that we just talked about. And in the route map, we are really interested in matching certain criteria. When there is a certain thing matches, based on those certain criteria, we want to go ahead and take certain actions. And those actions are really done with the help of the set commands. So that's what we're going to go ahead and explore. So if you remember in the previous lab, when we went ahead and redistributed, some of these routes or announce these routes in BGP, we make use of an access list, access list one, where we went ahead and filtered only two networks, 16 and 48. Now, when and then we went ahead and redistributed or announced in BGP, they got announced or got redistributed in BGP, but their origin code is really incomplete. So now we're going to go ahead and fix, and for that, we're going to go ahead and make use of the route map. So let's come back to our, our R2 going to config mode and if you go ahead and press them i'm not going to press a couple question here but if you take a look at route map now with the route map you just need to have to provide an, a name so let's go ahead and make use of a name in this case these are the two uh, network that we are advertising so we can call it whatever you want let's say call it like uh, net2 and with the net2 we can go ahead and say, hey, what do we want to do? Route map deny set operation or permit set operation. So in this case, we want to permit. So let's say permit. And with that, we need to go ahead and specify a sequence if you want to go ahead and do that, or it's an optional, but I'll go ahead and use a sequence number. Now, once you are inside the route map, we said there are two things the route map needs to do. There is a criteria where you use the match command. And then you take certain action that is with the help of the set command. So we are saying that, okay, hey, anytime when we are redistributing these two networks, 
16 or 40. So that will be our match criteria. And when we know that we use the access list to filter these things, that means you can use in the match criteria that access list. And when you have these matching routes or these matching routes, we want to go ahead and set an origin code. And let's say the origin code that we want to set for these routes is the IGP. So now let's go ahead and use the command or press question mark here. Match matches value from routing table and set sets value in the destination routing protocol. So there are two things. When you use the match, it matches the value from the routing table basically. What is present in the routing table and the set in the destination routing table. So with that, let's go ahead and make use of the match. And in the case of match, there are quite a few things that we can go ahead and match. And in this case, we are interested in matching based on our routing table is the IP. So I'll say match IP. With the match IP, you can go ahead and match an address, match address of a route or a match packet. Flow spec, next stop, route source. In this case, we are interested in address because that's what we want to match a particular packet or a route. So the route in this case are 16 and 48. So I'll say match IP address. And we can go ahead and make use of our access list that we had created earlier to filter those two routes, dot sixteen and dot forty eight. And the access list that we used was access list one. So go ahead and make use of this match IP address one. And now, if you have anything further, you can go ahead and make use of just simply press and enter. So in the route map, we used the first part, which was the matching. So we are matching our access list one. Now, once there is a match, what we want to go ahead and do that. So for that, we can go ahead and take some action. And for that, we can use that make use of the set command because set is going to set values in the destination routing protocol. So what do we want to set here? And we said the one of the thing that we are interested in setting is the origin, which is BGP origin code. Because when we redistributed those routes earlier, our origin code was really incomplete. So for that, now we are using the set command. So we'll say set origin and with the origin, there are only two things that you can configure either incomplete or IGP. We are already in the incomplete state. We want to go ahead and configure an IGP. Now you can go ahead and simply press and enter. So what we just did here, we went ahead and created a route map. Okay. And in that route map, we are matching the IP address based on our access list one. And anytime when we have a match, we're going to set the origin code as IGP for those particular routes. Now, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind here that if there is no match, it is just simply going to go ahead and ignore that. So if you want to have, you can create like multiple uh, route maps and based on that, you can take uh, certain actions. Okay. So that's something you need to keep in mind that any route that does not match at least one match clause inside your route map command it will be simply be ignored or in the simple word the route will not be advertised so that's what something you need to keep in mind and if you want to modify only some data or certain data then we can go ahead and configure even a second route map or a third route map and where we can go ahead and configure certain more match commands and then the set commands so now our route map is uh, configured so we went ahead and configured a route map. In that route map, we are matching our IP access list one with the help of match IP address command. And then for those matching routes, we are setting the origin code as IGP. Now we have to go ahead and make use of this route map when we are redistributing these routes or announcing these routes into BGP. So for that, let's go back inside our the BGP process again. And if you remember the BGP process on this router is BGP1. Now the redistribute connected. And when we were doing the redistribute connected first time, we saw this option that says route map. And inside the route map, we can go ahead and give it the name. And if you recall the name of the route map that we had used is net2. So I'll go ahead and use the name of this particular route map, which is net2. So what we just went and did, hey, we are redistributing the connected route. But when we are redistributing those connected route, we are now applying a route map. And the name of the route map is Net2. And that route map Net2 really says, okay, hey, we are only going to redistribute the route that matches with an IP address 1. And IP address 1 is really the access list 1, where we had only permitted network.16 and .48. 
So we are only going to redistribute those routes. And when we do the redistribution, we want to set the origin code for those routes as IGP. And that's what we went ahead and did here. Now let's come outside the BGP. Now we can go ahead and take a look at our route table and we can filter only certain route or we can take a look at the whole BGP table. So let's take a look at the whole BGP table for the time being. So we'll do show IP BGP command. And now if you take a look at the previously these two routes where the origin code was incomplete, now for these two redistributor or these two announced network, we have an origin code set of I and really the I stands for IGP. And if I scroll my screen up and if we go back, before we went ahead and configured this route map and before we applied this route map onto BGP, the origin code was really incomplete. So now when these routes got redistributed or announced with an origin code and when that system is trying to make use of a best path selection, it will go ahead and you know keep this route also into uh, that selection process and not going to simply ignore because the origin uh, path or origin code is not missing in this particular case. But hopefully you get the idea behind the route map. Route map is really a powerful concept. So you can go ahead and make use of a route map to make changes to the attributes uh, that you are working with the BGP where you have two things as a match. You match certain things based on condition. For our example, we match based on our access list that we had created earlier. And then you can take certain action with the help of set command where you can go ahead and uh, change certain things. Like again, for our example, we saw changing the origin code. We can go ahead and change quite a few things. We can go ahead and change the metrics. We can go ahead and change the community attributes. We can go ahead and change the next hop and, and so on. So that's how we can go ahead and uh, make use of uh, this route map. That'll be all for this lab. I'll see you guys in the next lab. Thank you.